We have some huge news for adoption headlines for you today. It's Tuesday the 26th of October. I'm your host Jessica and with our news topics, make sure to stick around to the end to hear one big breaking news digital asset update. First, let's see what we're covering today. Tesla, is it back on track with accepting Bitcoins? Let's find out. What's in store for stable coins? The SEC looks to clamp down on regulations. Just when we thought the news around Shiba Inu couldn't get any more surprising, you can now pay food in Paris with the asset. Tom Brady gifted one fan a whole Bitcoin in a true good deed of the day. And is there enough to go around? A study shows Bitcoin mining could put Bitcoin at the risk of a 51% attack. Crypto firm back surges after announcing a MasterCard partnership and Africa's largest country has launched the continent's first CBDC. So let's jump straight on in. Has the bull market caused Tesla to change heart? Tesla has hinted it may start re-accepting crypto. Tesla impressed Bitcoin fans when they announced they bought $1.5 billion worth of crypto and then began accepting car payments using the cryptocurrency. Although this was short-lived, Elon Musk then announced he would suspend support for Bitcoin transactions. And the reason for doing so? Well, only if the industry could prove at least 50% of the energy used by blockchain comes from renewable sources. It does seem like things are changing as a filing to the US Securities and Exchange Commission confirmed it may in the future restart the practice of transacting in cryptocurrencies. Tesla then added, we believe in the long-term potential of digital assets, both as an investment but also as a liquid alternative to cash. Tesla currently owns 42,000 Bitcoin. Let's see if the company welcomes Bitcoin clients in the future. The US Securities and Exchange Commission looks to have set some significant authority or power over stablecoins. According to Bloomberg, there will be a report by the Treasury Department due out this week specifying that the SEC has significant authority over stablecoins, such as Tether, USDC coin, and Binance USD. Stablecoins are digital currencies pegged to the price of traditional currencies, most commonly the US dollar. And apparently the report due this week came into play from lobbying by the SEC Chairman Gary Gensler, who argued that his agency has existing powers to oversee tokens when they're involved in investment transactions. There is also some rumors to Congress to pass legislation regulating stablecoins, much like bank deposits. The news comes after Facebook stablecoin Diem faced scrutiny last week. Is the Shiba Inu payment integration a step in the right direction? A Parisian restaurant is now accepting Shiba as a form of payment. The restaurant made the announcement on Facebook and was met with a pretty warm reception. But before you get your cryptocurrency wallet out and start looking at the menu, with Shiba almost five times the value from the beginning of the month, I would think twice about spending. Maybe stick to stable coins. India's crypto COVID relief fund also cashed out a donation of 50 trillion Sheep for four. $163 million earlier this year. But the altcoin's recent surge means that if the nonprofit ended up losing out on more than $1 billion, that could have gone towards tackling the crisis. So think before you spend your sheep. Normally, it's the fans giving the stars a gift, but this time, Tom Brady gave one NFL fan a whole Bitcoin. Tom Brady became the first quarterback to hit a 600th touchdown, and the ball marking the record may have accidentally been gifted to a fan by a fellow team member, who was none the wiser that one day the price of that ball could be worth close to 1 million US dollars. The fan returned their memorabilia and Brady rewarded the fan with a handful of gifts plus a whole Bitcoin. Tom Brady referred to the fan stating Byron lost all of his leverage when he gave up the ball. He should have held it, but I'm also giving him a whole Bitcoin. So at the end of the day, I feel like he's making out pretty well and we have to agree. Bitcoin aimed at leveling the financial playing field and democratizing finance may have one big problem. Research shows a number of small 10,000 people hold around one third of all Bitcoin that's been mined and 1,000 investors hold a huge 3 million Bitcoin. That's one eighth of the total Bitcoin supply. There's also the coins that have been lost forever and the report also shows some huge discrepancies with crypto mining where it's run by a few big players 50 miners control 50% of the capacity. And this could provide a risk of a 51% tag in the future if the market dominance continues. Shares of BAT tripled to the value on Monday after a partnership with MasterCard was announced. The firm announced crypto services to MasterCard's merchants and banking partners. 
The loyalty program offerings will include receiving their loyalty points in crypto and spending them on it. One representative at Back says, as brands and merchants look to appeal to younger consumers and their transaction preferences, these new offerings represent a unique opportunity to satisfy increasing demand for crypto payments and reward flexibility. In a survey, 40% of consumers in most regions told researchers they plan to use crypto in the next year. The Central Bank of Nigeria announced the launch of the e Naira, the continent's first CBDC. Testing for the CBDC began all the way back in 2017, with the digital wallet now providing it uses a number of features based on the hyper-ledger fabric. The e Naira will enable faster and easier cross-money transfers, notably remittances. Foreign exchange problems are causing serious disruptions to remittance income. Even the central bank promised the e Naira will offer a hitch-free foreign exchange. Now, local reports have suggested that increasing numbers of Nigerians are turning to Bitcoin as an official remittance numbers as they've plummeted over the years. Now, dropping more than one quarter in 2020, remittances are slumping, according to the World Bank. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on daily run-throughs. And if you do have any more questions about the wild world of crypto, you can always ask Alex in the description box below.